Hello everybody, my name is Fola Ajile and I want to welcome you to my channel and in this video I'll be talking about how to remove domain name from disabled Facebook ad account. So maybe you watched my previous video on how to do that or you've watched videos online on how to do that I will tell you there's a faster, there's an easier way to do that and that is what I'll be addressing in this video. Once again, my name is Fola Ajile and I want to say if you are subscribed to my channel, please do us subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get access to enriching content from me anytime i release them and i want to say i release videos on financial independence online business digital marketing and so much more and also please do not forget to do what to share like and comment and so you could have uh, the opportunity to win free digital products from me thank you and without wasting too much of your time let's dive into how to remove domain names from blogged Facebook ad account. So this is my Facebook ad account and as you can see, you can see advertising access permanently restricted and I actually need the domain name attached to this, uh, uh, to this Facebook ad account because I need to do what to continue advertising my business. So what I will do is this, I will go to business, I will go to uh, I'll come here and I will go to business settings. So once I go to business settings, uh, you know okay so i have various ad accounts so i'll just select one the one i wish to uh remove the domain name so now that uh i've gotten to business settings what i have to do is i have to just scroll down i'll uh, visit brand safety and click domains so what i want to try to do is i want to try to remove this domain name because that is what uh, i want to do what i want to save so i will click remove uh, and you can see the domain name is configured to optimize for web events and I won't be able to remove it in choice. So what I'll do is this uh, Previously, I made a video. You can copy a code paste it there You have to do what inspect and the likes try to circumvent Facebook blocking uh, the interface For you to remove but if you can check what is written here It's true that the domain is configured to optimize for web events web events so why don't we try to do what on configure it that's what we actually wanted to do so but i'll show you what a faster means to do that so what i'm going to do is i'll go to my hard manager so this is my hard manager and i'll go to event manager let me go to event manager i do have custom conversions yes and when i created those custom conversions i had to add it to the so now that i'm here at the events manager all i have to do is what i have to come to custom conversions and what i actually did when i was creating this is i created the custom conversion and i had to do what i had to uh, aggregate event measurement as when you created a new one you will see no year so what i'll just do is i'll just scroll down let me find anyone obviously i've what i've linked all of this custom conversion to this domain name. so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new custom conversion just uh put any name whatsoever that's fine uh, then uh, abc.com i think that's fine all i want to do is uh okay uh i think something okay then i have to click create so after clicking create that is done because i just have a mission to do what to what just use this to remove uh to uh, try to do what to free my uh domain name from uh the bond it has with all this custom conversion so i'll come here and i'll click configure so once you click configure the beauty now is this you can see domain verified configured event for so you know i said i wanted to configure but i'm not actually configuring so i'll click manage events edit once you click edit then you see these are the four i'm not going to add any one i'm just going to close this i'm going to close this I'm going to close this and I'm going to close this. Close this. So we have zero event. So I'm going to click submit. Once I click submit, yes, I understand and apply. So I have removed what all custom conversions from that domain name. So what I have to do is I have to go back to my business settings again and click remove. Uh, okay, let me just refresh. Let me refresh. I refresh I can click remove and obviously yeah this is what it is removed so that is what a faster way to do that if this video is actually helpful you please do it like share and make a comment below just give me a thumbs up and I want to say 
please if you're subscribed to my channel kindly do what click uh, the subscribe button below and also turn on the notification bell so you can get access to more energy video content from me thank you and god bless